Oh, people in Mason City are stepping up to help those impacted by the massive fire at the Kirk Apartments. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofall was down there at a massive supplies drive, and she has more information on how people are reaching out to help. Tenants of the Kirk Apartment building lost everything in a fire Monday. Now the community is working together to figure out what their next steps are and how to move forward. Now that the smoke has cleared, victims of the Kirk fire are trying to find a way forward. Thursday, this small Mason City community showed up big time to help out their neighbors. Think about having a tough day at work, right? That's something we've all had, a tough day at work. What do you want to do? You want to go home. You want to be in your home, in your space. And that's not there for them right now. The Mason City Salvation Army had clothes, food, toiletries, and even furniture for Kirk tenants to help them recover. That's the tough part right now is that we don't have a lot of low-income housing stock and getting people into comparable priced um, units has been difficult. Tenants had the option to speak with representatives from United Way, the Salvation Army, and Legal Aid. One attorney from Iowa Legal Aid says it's important to make sure tenants know their rights after disasters like this. Pretty much you're demanding your deposit, your rental deposit, and the unused portion of your rent. So people in town have asked about the lack of a sprinkler system in the building, something the Mason City Fire Department says isn't necessarily unusual for buildings this old. Legal Aid says tenants will have to wait for the fire marshal to investigate before pursuing any civil suit over the missing sprinklers. Generally, whatever's destroyed inside of a, an apartment, you know, ends up being the tenant's responsibility, unless you're going to prove some huge element of negligence on the landlord's part. United Way of North Central Iowa is starting a Kirk Fire Crisis Fund with the goal of raising $40,000. We'll have that donation information attached to this story on our website at KAALTV.com. In Mason City, Emily Pofall, ABC6 News.